And obviously the transmission is what keeping the engine from tilting back. Oh wow. It'd be nice to have this kind of room all the time. Sunday morning. We have Danny's car over here in the garage. Trying to decide if it's uh, blown up or not. Some more today uh, water pump no spinny we don't know if this thing's blown up or not we're gonna find out so that's a separate video though because today we're gonna go ha hang out with Dean for a little bit over at his shop because uh, he blew his transmission up for sure there's no question on that one so we're gonna take a couple cameras over there and we're gonna see what he's got going on looks like tranny replacement on an x3 okay so we came out here to check out Dean's, uh, come on, check out Dean's X3. Trying to be blown up. Dean is in transistor right now in between uh, his house he sold and the house he bought. So this is the, this is home right now. Pretty cool. Pretty cool setup. Oh, wow. It'd be nice to have this kind of room all the time. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> this is the setup, man. Right? Like that? Heck yeah. Top out and be able to stretch out. Right? Yeah. Was, heck yeah. That's awesome. It's a far cry from Dandy Garage, huh? Right? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so, pull the train plug out and this oh, no. is on there. Wow, that's some. Uh, that's kind of an indicator. Those look like important parts to me, but especially, I mean, somebody yeah. took the time to machine that part, so. It's almost like a piece of a synchro or something, but I don't know what's in there. That is weird. Yeah. I went through the book. Nothing I can really see in the book. Couldn't that figure shows it out. That. Okay. Yeah. But uh, the worst case scenario, there's more of those pieces in the transmission floating around. If it gets caught in the gear. Yeah. Between the gear in the case or something, I could crack the case. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, and I don't want to be uh, somebody else's liability out there in the middle of the desert on the. Yeah, this would be a big one too, especially if it locked up. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to just take axles sure. out or some craziness and get towed. And... Yeah, yeah. The ultimately gonna take the transmission out, gonna have it uh, gone through rebuilt. I don't know. Thinking about cryo heat, thinking about micro polish, uh, kind of pins. Um, First look in the book, how do you pull the transmission? First thing it says is, check page so-and-so for removing engine first. Oh no. So I'm like, nah, I'm not even gonna touch this thing. But uh, pulled a couple uh, videos and whatnot and see that the thing slides out easy on the driver's side. Okay, so somebody has figured out that you can do it without pulling the engine. Yeah, yeah. So just kind of got a jump start on it. Uh, pulled yeah. the axles, uh, pulled the uh, clutching off, the backing plate and really that's all I pulled off and you can see it's pretty well exposed at this point. Oh yeah. I'm surprised you don't have your lift in here. <laughs> it's in there, just not plugged in, you know. Alright, so first thing first we're gonna get this the muffler unbolted so it's a little muffler bracket. As you can see he was talking about this muffler bracket. Let me get the other let me have a cover the light shining too. But the muffler bracket itself, as you can see is is all tied into the back of that transmission, so it's actually the um, that's actually the that's actually the rear transmission, not that muffler bracket. Huh? Yeah. Yep. I was hoping to uh, put some fluid in there, run a little bit, try to flush it. But yeah, yeah. You know, when you're trying to, uh, you want to ride so bad. Yeah, you're, you you're, know you're just going to get screwed. You're hoping against hope, yeah. Yep. Just a little pro tip before you uh, pull the tranny. Uh -huh. I drain the fluid first. Yeah. Because there is a uh, shaft that goes from the motor to the tranny. That's oh, yeah. The oil line. I'm sure there's a seal in there or something that's going to get exposed. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a messy enough job as it is. Sure. Who wants to have oil all down here? 
Okay, so it looks like what we're gonna do is uh, pull that whole bracket off the back right there. Yeah, so it's it's floating in the air here a little bit. Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of brace it with a couple of pry bars just to kind of hold it up in the air. Yeah. yeah. So when we pull Blades the bracket it off, there, it yeah, so it doesn't drop. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it kind of looks like uh, once you pulled all the bolts out of this guy right here, you could just probably rotate that whole bracket out of the way. That master bracket. Yeah. Transmission. No. So let's see how far we get with this. All right, I'm gonna do a bit of fast forward until we come to a part that might be. So here's what we're running into uh, doing it this way. Again, the manual, the official manual says pull the motor out, I think, right? Yeah. So, but Dean did some research on YouTube. People are able to get the tranny out without pulling the motor out. Here's the first thing we're running into that's kind of a pain. Uh, that bolt right here, the bottom bolt down here, uh, it won't come all the way out uh, the way we're setting currently. We, we have both sides loose, and as you, can, as you can see, it hits the frame. It's the chassis of the car and we can't get any further. So what we're hoping for is we're gonna pull this bolt out. Right now, we're gonna pry the whole thing up and uh, pry the whole thing up. Oh yeah. With the angle of the oh, frame, yeah. hoping we have more room. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go quite a ways, but I do see some movement there that might help. All right, we'll find out. We're gonna put you back on time lapse. Okay, so just a heads up if you try to do this. Unfortunately, we were both working on it. We couldn't get it on camera, but basically, so Dean just pulled that whole bracket out, which I think is the key really to really getting this thing out all the way. But the problem we had, see this bolt hole down here? Hopefully you can see this on camera. I know this camera does really well in low light. But that bolt hole, that bolt, you can't take both sides off at the same time. So what we did is I ended up running this one back in and then Dean got his side out. Then we flexed the whole transmission towards the driver's side. <laughs> and once I did that, I was able to actually run this bolt out. Once we had all the bolts out of the bracket, it comes completely out. Now you can see the whole back of the transmission is, is pretty free. We have, you know, not a ton of space, but there's, I don't know, an inch, inch or so back there, maybe a yep. little more than an inch. Yeah. Inch goes a long way. So the next part is just mounting the transmission from the engine and obviously the transmission is what keeping the engine from tilting back so i'm looking at this here when i'm looking at if you can see this gap up here let me get over here you see this gap here behind the head oh, yeah. from the intake uh -huh. i think i'm going to run a strap on that side through here up oh, to the sway bar yeah. and ratchet the engine forward yeah so it's not resting on the transmission because as soon as we pull the transmission out the engine's going to want to come back some yeah all right, yep, so and then it looks like we got uh, a couple bolts right there, and then yeah. a bunch of bolts from the other side, looks like, basically. Two bolts right there. Yep, we'll see how that goes. We'll grab some ratchet. All right. Okay, so you're throwing the ratchet strap on there, pull the yeah. engine forward, tilt so it up. My of. idea is, again, yeah, get the ratchet strap on there. I got all vitals out of the way, mm -hmm. and instead of just going on and ratcheting, I'm going to pry up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Ratchet. There so you not, go. Makes the ratchet do all the work. Oh, yeah. It's moving up pretty good. Uh, it's not holding so well. <laughs> well, it's floating. Oh, that's, yeah. That's oh, is thing. it floating? When okay. this comes off, yeah, yeah. it's going to relieve tension and go that sure. way. Sure. Yeah, and the motor itself. Then the motor will only have to hold itself up. Right. There. It's floating. The 
there's still something holding the transmission from coming. I'm also wondering if these two bolts right here, if they go all the way through into that bracket over there. I don't know, but look, but look at them. There's, since those are bolts, not studs. What's yeah. holding it up right now? All right, so what we've decided at this point, the transmission seems completely loose. It's actually back, slid back about half an inch. But this bracket kind of keeps us from seeing what's going on and what's holding it in place. And we think it might actually be what's part of what's holding it in place. So again, you're supposed to pull the motor according to the instructions, but we're not doing that, so. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of a son of, son of a motorless trucker because it, there's not really enough room to make this happen. You gotta pry the motor loose. You definitely want that motor mount out, for sure. Yeah, uh, need the wiggle room. Two people, really good idea. Uh, but it's, I mean, it's loose. Which uh, we, I think we did it without damaging anything. Yeah, I think we're hanging up on the dowel pin here. Okay, okay. And that's part of getting oh, the yeah, uh, yeah, motor yeah. mount yep, out. Yep. Help Just that giving up room. room. Yeah. We had a hidden bolt, I think right through that dowel pin yes. for the hidden bolt. Yes, yep. That's, or this one. Uh, it was down low. Down low, okay, must probably that one's hidden yeah, bolt yeah. there. Yeah, it was that one. That's the one, that's where the bolt was. Yeah. So keep in mind, it's really hard to see. There's a bolt right there, which uh, the only way I spotted that bolt was, well, you can't see it now, but kind of this angle right here through a hole in the transmission. Uh, anyway, that's that. It is out. I mean, it's, it's, uh, we just have to set it out. It's out, out, so. And it's a matter of what's going on inside of it and what decision Dean makes as far as complete replacement, rebuild. Yeah. I would say probably either way he's going to see the inside of this thing. Let's get it out on the ground. All right, let's do it. Okay, it's on the ground. All right, well, uh, our new thing on the videos is to say uh, that's it. Bye. <laughs> Bye.